Yeah, morning. So I just woke up. That's good. So I'm here. I'm ready. <laughs> I know. Really nice. Yeah. Good to see you. Nice place. Okay. Sergey, what you? Yeah, it's. Um, I think now it's it's the idea for the startup to find a real background that would look like the virtual one, so we can like see on the map like Port Square, see on the map where is like a good background that you can do. Um, yeah, so I'm I'm at the brewery, so it's gonna be a meetup tonight. So I came a little bit earlier, and um, yeah, it's a nice place. Uh, it they brew the the main Lithuanian beer here. It's not the beer we're gonna have for for Yuruka, by the way, <laughs> but that's more like wider, uh, wider stuff. And for Yuruka, we're gonna have our own beer. Yes, it's it's confirmed. So I think the design is on the way. Yeah, let's see how it goes. Okie dokie. So um, yeah, I, yeah, I have fixed fixed the link for today. Yeah, I just want to point out that. Yeah, it's just that you tweeted out the link that doesn't work. Yeah, yeah, I, I, I edited the post, so yeah, there was like uh, dot oh, com yeah. domain, but are yeah, it it should be like dot gg. So, yeah, yeah, I just didn't even know that you could edit the tweets. Yeah, uh, so I I have edited and then now it works. Everything should be okay right now. I, yeah, I, so I reply to people with the new link. Okay, so, so let's try. Welcome, and uh, if anybody wants to raise any questions, raise your hand. Or if anybody wants to jump on the stage and share some great news, uh, feel free to do that. Um, as we are going to have the discussion about the upcoming conference. So any questions, suggestions, comments are welcome. So. We don't have a specific yeah, agenda, so that's specifically to answer to your question. No specific agenda, but one 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 thing that uh, I prepared a short presentation, like a couple of slides that will cover, you know, the the progress and what we have achieved and what we have at the moment. A lot of questions, I believe, will be answered by providing this information so let's maybe start with this one and then proceed with like any questions that you will um you will have you will get so let me share my screen right now just a second okay slide show yeah there it is Yeah, that's that's the screen I want to share. Nothing happened in that already achievement. Uh, uh, yeah. So uh, that's that's a short presentation of what what is happening right now uh, on our side. What we have achieved. So first of all, like the main the main thing, the main um, something while doing any conference, right? The venue. We are uh, renting a huge venue at Vilnius Tech University. Uh, this is like a modern new building. Um, and the, um, the capacity is up to 1,000 attendees. Um, and that's like university that is um, the main university. It is located not so far from the uh, center of the city, uh, like about 10, 15 minutes ride. <clears throat> so without that, it will be nice to, to have like more daily place to have our event there. Um, next thing is like our program committee. And, here we have uh, Vladimir and Aurora from um, Program Committee that um, uh, that choose uh, our lineup. And if you have any questions, uh, how the process was organized, if you have any questions regarding the topics or whatever, so we are happy to answer. 
but like uh, overall program committee uh, was like 23 participants from like Europe, I guess, like more than 13 countries in total, different companies, different communities. So we were aiming to um, gather different opinions, um, different um, expertise uh, in the in the program committee. So to get more um, interesting, diverse uh, results in our lineup. So here it is. Um, our lineup, we have announced this on our website and uh, like day by day we're posting um, everyone on our social media. So stay tuned and uh, like we will bring more updates and information about. But yeah, here is the list. Um, we have two. Um, we have uh, three keynote speakers each day, and we will have in addition um, panel discussion. Um, there will be four from four to five participants, um, and we will discuss like the, the history of Ruby. Um, our program, so we, um, basically what, what is like brand, what, what, what is something new that we want to create during this Yuruka is, um, like traditionally Yuruka is a uh, one track conference. So we added another track, community track. And, uh, like if, if the main one with, uh, let's say like main speakers, uh, will take uh, place on the first half of the day. Uh, so the second half uh, main stage will be provided to unconference format where uh, participants or attendees, they can pitch their own talks at the beginning of the day. And during the first half of the day, everyone is voting, choosing, and the um, talks with the, with the highest rate, rating, um, they will, um, they will take place on the big stage along with the main speakers lineup. And at the same time, there will be a small stage where community track will be happening. And we thought it will be a nice idea to provide communities from all over the world uh, a stage where they can have their own meetup inside Yuruka conference. So uh, yeah, there are still possibilities to have your own talk, uh, because we like we get a lot of questions from uh, applicants uh, to CFP that um, are still ready to have their talk. So there is a um, couple of uh, slots in terms of community track and online conference where everyone can be speakers. This is like the main uh, the, the the core. Uh, of the conference. Um, and of course, like we will have uh, our party uh, dedicated to like, three anniversaries. It's like 30 years of Ruby, 20 years of Iruko, and 700 years for real. Um, and on the second day, we will have pop crawling excursion. So we will, we will have that, you know, map and created route that will allow uh, to, to have some sight viewing, see the city and visit bars and, and have a lot of fun. Like uh, I, I guess like 10 bars plus will participate in that. And uh, like everyone will be able to visit the bar or visit every bar uh, and like have a lot of fun. Our schedule, the most important question at the moment, a lot of questions um, we get uh, are about the schedule. So this is like, like an overall uh, view and understanding of, of what will be happening, right? Uh, but we are, um, we are confirming some details and we will publish it announced in nearest uh, week. Um, and uh, let's see, so three days, Okay, I have Saturday first, sorry. 
Uh, so let's start from the middle column Thursday. Um, there is like big stage and small stage, as I, as I said, right? So like big talks, some conference, some community talk. And um, like we will start around 10 a.m. and uh, the program will be ended uh, on on the 19th, so about maybe a bit earlier. Um, we'll sp specify this based on the on the uh, opportunities to travel from from the venue to our pilot venue. So this is like the difference that we want to specify. On Friday, we will still have like sponsors and partners expo running the whole day. The same for big stage, first half of the day for main speakers and conference uh, on the second half of the day in small station. Everything is over, will be over until 18 o'clock and pop crawling. And Saturday, we will have like that short and expo and there will be like on the first half of the day main stage speakers only and after lunch we will have our community um city pitches uh, so we will like everyone who wants to host you connect here will be able to um pitch their city and like one Yuruko and have that pleasure to organize everything. Um, our party, we are renting, uh, this is not so far from the city, again, like 10, 15 minutes right from the center. Uh, an old factory, tobacco factory that was re renovated and um, uh, turned into, into a, an art space. And uh, there is a local brewery uh, with like a lot of tap with craft beer, so it will be a very tasty beer party. 24 taps of different beers will be for you. And we are brewing our, our own recipe of beer. I will show it later on. And one more um, interesting fact uh, is that we are renting the whole a uh, rail track and, and the train to uh, arrive from the central station right to the venue. So the railroad goes directly to the venue. This is not just a station nearby, but like directly to, to the beer. Um, this is like the most tastiest um, news uh so we we have tried it already so we we brewed a ruby beer for ruby conference uh of course what it should, should be uh yeah and we will like prepare um this like a present for every tandy it will be waiting you uh at the, the party venue <clears throat> the, the taste the taste One, of the beer is shocking and uh, I would say the motto of this beer would be one is enough. It's, it's not strong, <laughs> but it's very unique. I, I bet it's the beer that is made not from fruits, but from, okay, I'm not going to spoil it, but yeah, that's, that's kind of a, we're going to have some, you know, leftovers. So if anybody wants to pre-order that, let us know. We'll send it. Send it to anybody who wants to get it. Let's not let it Is it made out of rupees? <laughs> no, it's eatable. Like the the things that, that that is used for the recipe, it is eatable. But I give you a hint. So it's it looks like a ruby. Yes, the shape is closed. It's it's it is made from from the tears of rubies. Um, next, next update, next, uh, great news is, um, regarding accommodation, because we want to have to provide more opportunities for our attendees. We find both partner, um, who is ready to provide, um, like a 20% discount and fix that price for, uh, a single room, um, um, and, 
um, yeah, it is limited like in time. So you you need to if you want to get this discount, you, you need to book to reserve this room until the 11th of September. And here is like written flow of how you need to get it. Nothing complicated, but please make sure that there is Eureka 23 uh, in the subject line when you will send the email. Uh, everyone is welcome to use that code, but the number of rooms is limited. Uh, it was at the very beginning, 100 rooms, but now it's probably um, less. Um, okay, regarding the logistics, so here's a couple of screenshots which I just made to, you know, to, to kick off your own investigation of what to wait in the middle. So uh, it is like from that courtyard Marriott Hotel, it's about 15 minutes ride on the boat taxi, including some traffic jams, so 10, 15 minutes, right? And um, from the very part of the city, it is like, again, 20, uh, 10, 20 minutes, right, should be. From, from the railway station, 20 minutes. So it's not so far. Uh, Vilnius is uh, like very spacious. So it's like, you know, it takes place that probably like two, three millions on that uh, territory could live, but we have just 500, five, 500,000 people, I guess, not more. Um, yeah, and so it's very spacious and um, a lot of sightings, old buildings, new buildings, a lot of nature, very green city. So I'm, I'm sure you will like it, and like the route, the route will be interesting. So our our uh, pub crawling route will be in the old city. Uh, this this part, if you can see my pointer, oh, this is like the old city center, like at near the station. So we will have like that, you know, twenty minute walk uh, route. Um, and like 10 bars over there. At the moment, we hit almost, almost like we, we are like less than 10 people more, and we will hit uh, 400 attendees already. We are growing, and I'm uh, waiting uh, like at least 100 more attendees to join our conference. Uh, so we are aiming like 500, 600 participants. And like the venue, uh, like I mentioned, uh, can allocate 1,000 attendees. So we're like, we'll be comfortable with everything what will be happening at the venue. Um, there are still tickets available. Uh, so if you have someone in your network that um, who, is, who is still um, thinking to attend or not, so there is like a great opportunity to have a discount. Um, and one more thing that I want to mention, because we are we want to stress uh, that, uh, especially um, we want to engage uh, as much, as many communities as possible. So let's, um, let's try to shake up um, like the global Ruby community, Euroco community, your local communities, and bring them uh, to Euroco. Because here you can win uh, Euroco for the next year. You can also, I believe, like a lot of problems um, that communities are, are still facing uh, are related to that post COVID. Something that is happening, people became so lazy on that remote work and etc. So, yeah, that's perfect opportunity to just take up your community and uh, begin to um, to make meetups or your own conferences, whatever. Just let's try to add some 
lies in the Ruby community. That's it. Um, thank you. I guess uh, it was um, very useful. Uh, let's proceed with your questions. Uh, there is not so much attendance here, um, but uh, yeah, we will also try to answer uh, all the questions that we will get after publishing this recording uh, on our media. Um, yes, yeah, so you're welcome to share your questions, not right now, but uh, now I mean, not just right now, but but uh, later on, on our Twitter, LinkedIn, Mastodon, Discord, whatever. Yeah, so please, uh, like, if you have any questions, raise your hand. We will invite you into stage because we have we are real limited with five people. This is not just because we want to, to show our face only, but because there is a limitation in Discord for five people uh, on the stage at the same moment. So raise your hands if you have any questions. We will try to answer. Sergey. Please, welcome with your questions. Well, yeah, the first question would be, um, so the conference is happening on 21st, 23rd of September. Would it be possible still to try pink soup in Lithuania this time? Um, because it's summer, it's summer soup, right? So it serves only when the weather is hot. So September is not going to be that hot. So would it be possible to try pink soup uh, during the I guess yes, because like Lithuanians, uh, you can even try it like during winter. It's not so popular, but still you have on the menu. I remember for one hundred percent. But if even if there will be no cold soup from beetroot, we will have like that cold beer from beetroot, right? So not a big problem. Not a big problem. Yes, Aurora, please welcome. On, on the same theme, will we get dumplings? Dumplings, yeah, they're yeah, they're wonderful in here. And yeah, I've heard. So. All, it's not, yeah, but it's not dumplings. It's zeppelins. So it's like huge dumplings, like this size. Yeah. That's that's different. You mean you mean like d dumplings? I, so, I meant the, the what what I think is called zeppelins. That's the only zeppelins. Lithuanian oh, dumplings oh. I've I've. Like heard of as especially yeah. good. If if you have if if they are covered with potato, uh, so it's like zeppelins. And if like with uh, uh, with they are like vareniki in Ukraine or pierogi in uh, in Poland, like different. I believe like every every country. Has their own um, name for for this dish, yeah. So, but but national uh, national uh, uh, dish of of the uh, Lithuania is zeppelins. Yeah, sure. Smaller, bigger one, a lot of them, fried, boiled, frozen, if you prefer. I'll I'll prefer them not frozen when I eat them, but <laughs> yeah. yeah. Okay. Okay. So so like yeah, this this is gonna be the first ama. Um, uh, I don't know maybe if more questions appear. So thanks for everybody for joining. So yeah, feel free to send your questions. Maybe like next time we also have the same questions when more questions when, when more people appear or something. But yeah, if no nothing more to discuss, then let's call it a wrap. Nice and easy. Thank you everyone for joining. Thank you for your time. Thanks, everyone. Thank you. Yeah. Bye everyone. Thank See you. you guys. See you in the next. Yeah. Bye. -bye.